Your parenting style is not about your aesthetic, but it is about categorizing how kind and firm your interactions are with your child. This is something that you can begin to notice and adjust. Being too firm with your toolbox leans you towards being authoritarian in your approach. It's the I told you so's, I'm the boss, my way or the highway. And being too kind leans towards being permissive, wanting to keep the child happy, not having boundaries or structure, wanting to be nice all the time. The parenting style that I help my clients learn and practice through using the CLEAR method is called the authoritative style. It is having a balanced approach of warmth and structure. My name is Megan, and I am a positive parenting coach. I help teach parents and other caregivers specific tools to help balance their toolbox. It is these tools that they use in their everyday interactions with their children. Think getting their shoes on before school, doing their homework, going to bed. Every interaction is an opportunity to practice. And I believe that quality caregiving does not just happen. It's often a very intentional act. In my 22 years of working with families, the past seven and a half as a parenting coach, I've noticed that the permissive parenting style is sometimes the more harder to recognize because often these parents are very well intentioned. However, the best intentions can still have a long-term negative impact on how the child develops. So why does it matter? Well, it matters because being a permissive parent can often lead to overindulgence and entitlement. This can look like when your child is having a big emotion and uh, an extreme expression of that emotion and the parent starts to feel guilty about holding that boundary and then they give in. If you've witnessed this, you might be thinking, oh, that parent is just afraid to say no, or that child does not understand the concept of boundaries, or that child is in charge of the parents. And that can be an often scary place for a child to be, really overwhelming. I say it can be scary for the child because that impulse of hearing no or not knowing how to navigate disappointment or delayed gratification that can intensify as the child grows up it also intensifies for the parent and caregiver which will fuel the giving in now i don't think that the parent is intentionally giving in i don't think that that's their reason why i don't think that they'd be like oh well i just wanted to give in I think that the parent in this case often feels flooded themselves. They may start to say a lot of fear-based thoughts like, well, it's just this once and they're only going to be little, not forever. Or it's just easier to give in right now rather than enforce the rules. I'll practice that later. Or I remember having this experience as a child and I don't want to be so strict like my parents were. All of those are fear-based drivers that create just a lot of overwhelm in the relationship. I think unconsciously we then put our own adult emotions in the hands of a child. And again, that can be a very scary place for a child. So what do you do to change this approach? Well, I would say the assets of being a permissive caregiver is that you are already warm and validating. I think to lean into the more balanced approach is to learn structures and routines and boundaries and making agreements and plans with your children so that you both are on the same page. I've found that when we are all on the same page, it makes it a lot easier to stand in those no's and it frees me up to be available to those upset feelings without feeling the urge to fix and rescue. If some of this is landing and you're ready to change your approach, I encourage you to head to my bio link and get started on building your balanced toolbox.